Time for another random project. So uh, we're back in the workshop making. Got the evolution chop saw out. And uh, we're making a mechanized butterfly uh, system thing, which uh, is then gonna be decorated and made into beautiful butterfly wings. But uh, my job is to make the mechanism uh, so that it goes up and down and flaps as if it were in flight. So uh, yeah, on the evolution uh, saw, if you wanna buy one of these, Use GK Design uh, in the checkout, Evolution, and you get 5% off. Uh, I do recommend them, uh, really good. And it's burr free, cold cut. Once we've got them all cut, nice and square, went over and uh, got them all tacked together. Uh, now, this is a, a bit of a design in making, as it were. Uh, it's a prototype. So, getting things heavy tacked together, and then things can get changed around. As you can see, I've got the chalk out, and we're doing a bit of off the cuff design on the bench and uh, that's what we're doing here this is a piece of wood and I'm using the piece of wood to alter the position of this electric linear actuator to give the most throw for the most power uh, messing around with the angles and things so much easier to uh, change the different positions with a piece of wood before committing it to steel once we've got that worked out over to the homemade ring roller if you want to see more about this, I have got a dedicated video to, in about making it. Uh, so go and have a look at that. Uh, did a beautiful job of this. So now we're making the wing outer frame. So it needs a bit of body to it to give it a bit of strength, but it also wants to have a bit of flex. So we've got some 20 by 20 uh, thin wall ERW box section here. So you just uh, bring down the top roller, roll it round by hand, and it puts a slight curve in and then uh, increase the pressure on the top ram, which brings the roller down and take another pass. The trick is to do uh, little and often, as it were, little at a time, so you don't end up kinking the pipe or uh, bowing out the sidewall too much because there's quite a lot going on with the metal. The outside's trying to expand, the inside's trying to contract. If you do too much too quickly, uh, it doesn't like that. and It tends to uh, bulge the sides out on the box section a bit. But yep, this worked well. Uh, the trick here is making two the same, so uh, slowly, slowly catch a monkey, and uh, we got there. I think we're about five mil out at one end, so uh, we'd take that for what we're doing with this. There in the background we have the trusty ambulance that we're working on at the moment. So with the outer frame made, it's time to get back over to the bench and get the chalk out and start drawing uh, sort of the uh, bottom edge of the wing, giving it some fluid lines and uh, trying to bring it to life. And then over to the peg, which is on the end of the bench there, with some 8mm bar to uh, bend it into that shape. Uh, and then once we've made one, then rubbed out the chalk, drew around the first one with the chalk, and uh, copied it to make the second one. So then we've got uh, an identical, or as near as damn it, identical pair. We did get them pretty close, to be honest. So uh, these frames will be decorated, uh, covered in uh, pattern material and all sorts of things to make them much more lifelike. We're really just making a skeleton here. Uh, so that's that. Then it was time to make some uh, bushings to weld onto the bottom of the wings. These will become the sort of pivot points if you like. If you see closely there, my truck's running out of shoe. I think there's a bit of swarf in there, so uh, I'll just sort that out sooner rather than later. So there we go. There are the two wing panels mounted onto the frame with the actuators. That there is a spring balance. And what I'm gonna do now is uh, run the actuators and put some force on. This is so that we know uh, what the motors are capable of pulling at that angle. So I managed to get 15 kilos of force on here. Did slow it down, but uh, didn't stop it. So it's just nice to know, a bit like I did with the winch, you just like to know what you're working in, how close to the limit we are. So uh, yeah, that was pretty good. Then uh, put them outside and put some tape on just to make the uh, wings more visual. And I gave them a try. So uh, this is running on 24 volts. Nice gentle flapping. So yeah, consider it to be a bit of a sculptor, sculpture sort of thing. Uh, it might be some more behind the scenes work. Couldn't possibly comment on that. But all in all, it seemed to go together pretty well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one.